Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video, I'll be taking a look at Creality Print newest update. Let's scratch today's topic. Okay, so it's been a while, and I mean a while, since Creality updated their Creality Slicer. And to be honest, I was actually enjoying Creality Print for a while, but there's no updates, and some of the features that I wanted to use, it was not on Creality Print. So let's check out what Creality has for us today on their newest update. Okay, so we are in Creality Cloud. Let's look at this. This is Creality Print version 4.3.8.7058, an updated version of the 4.3.8. So let's see what they have in stock for us. The description. New model CTV5, not quite sure what that is, but we will check it out. Uh, new model GSO2, okay. Update Creality K1C printing parameters. Enable wiping on the remote model. Okay, that, that seems interesting. Optimize starting point of the wiping path. I wonder what that is. It, could that be the nozzle wiping? Maybe. Optimize support removal. Nice. So. Maybe we are able to remove support a little bit easier, which is always a plus. Optimize the remote retrieval configuration for Ender 3 and Ender 3 V2 models. Okay, so those of you that are using Ender 3s or Ender 3 V2 are in good shape, I think. <laughs> Not quite sure what all of these actually means. Optimize the remote drawing problems for Ender 3 and Ender 3 V2 machine printing. I don't have Ender 3 or Ender 3 V2, so, so I'm not quite sure what that actually means actually mean but maybe for the picture or the drawing they will optimize that for the ender 3v3 and ender 3v2 modify model size of ct 300d and ct v5 amazing repair the abnormal wiring on the top surface of the support okay that's nice translation issue parameters and yeah fix some bugs serum d3 pro dual nozzle pretty bug okay so we just saw that it looks like this is not like a feature update or a newer version of Creality Print. It's just optimizing stuff here and there so that the current machine or the current software is a little bit better than the previous version. They're just optimizing stuff here and there. I am so excited. Cannot wait for Creality Print version 5. I think version 5 is going to be awesome. And the K2 and multi-materials. Oh my gosh. But let's download this and look at all the features that actually got added. And let's see if there are anything new that it was not mentioned in the description. So if you don't have Creality Print, you can go ahead and click this. Download this .exe file and then run it. Then you will have Creality Print. But if you do have Creality Print, all you need to do is just open Creality Print, go to Help, Update, and they should prompt you with this newer version of Creality Print. Do you want to update to this new version? If you do, click Yes. If you don't, just skip the version. But in my case, I will do it and I will click Yes. Oh, never mind. It will bring you back to their Creality Cloud page and will automatically install this for you. So just go ahead and install this and then run it. Okay, so it looks like the CT300 is Creality's printer. They just modified the size for this and this. I assume that will also be their 3D printer. Okay, so if we check here, the CT300 from Creality is here. They add this printer to Creality Print. And the CTV5 also added to Creality Print. So if you have any of these 3D printer, you can now use Creality Print and you will get the printer profile on Creality Print. And look at this guys. Did you know that this existed? This is the Cable Max, but it's in GS01 version. That, that looks really cool. <laughs> I didn't know that exists. Oh yeah, and they also have a K1C GS02 version. Well, yeah. There we go, Creality Print newest version updated for this slicer. Like I said, there's not that much added to this new update, but hopefully the version 5.0 is coming soon and we will have all the features that we wanted from Creality Print. And yeah, they just optimize things here and there. So if you want to go ahead and download this new update from Creality Print, if you use Creality Print, I don't use Creality Print, I use Orca Slicer because why not? Orca Slicer has all these amazing features that you can do with your 3D model. And I found that the print quality from Creative Print compared to Orca Slicer are pretty similar. There aren't that much difference. But let me know in the comments down below. What Slicer software do you use? Orca Slicer, Creative Print, Prusa Slicer, Kira, or any other one? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a like, and as always, keep on 3D printing.